Hey everybody, Laura Lynn Tyler Thompson. So that was Laura's intro. I don't know what there is about that and why I'm bothered by that, but I don't recognize it. I don't know if you do, but something about that. And it made me wonder and question a lot of things. So Laura Lynn Tyler, hey, you know, she kind of looks, I kind of look like her, but yet not quite. Um, but <laughs> yeah, so she's a host of this show, her own show, and she's also been on the 700 Club, if you recognize her. Yes, she was a host there as well. Twice married, uh, second marriage. I don't have a lot of information on her. Um, could not find a lot. So why am I concerned about this young lady? Yes, I call everyone young lady. She seems beautiful. She seems like she's an advocate of so many things. Going out to speaking to people, you know, in public about things that are going wrong in the Canadian nation. She's even written books. Um, she's, these are a few of their other books and they're on Laura Lynn TV merchandise. You can find them. So she's even talking about sex ed and how the SOGI um, should, the curriculum should not be um, what it is today in Canada. She's even cried out and said, we need to have the Lord's Prayer in the nation in the month of July well maybe this might ring some or throw some red flags for you guys as it did for me let's watch this very well she's got a very popular radio show TV show and I'm very proud to introduce her right up there at the very top where she's very noticeable to the world. So what did you guys think of seeing all that? Ah, uh, yeah. So, I'm concerned about the hydro hydroxychloroquine, that she's a Trump supporter. On her site, Trump is our only hope. She loves Trump. Hmm. I thought Jesus was our only hope. She sounds like she's not standing firm on God's word. That's just my opinion, uh, but we're going to have to look a little deeper because there's a lot of truth mixed with lies here. So I went further and found that she goes to preach at many churches. Catch the fire in Toronto, Canada. I won't go into all the details of all the pastors because I don't think it's relevant right now, but she was boasting about getting to know Mr. Stedman. Oh, so let's look into who all preaches at this catch the fire churches. Hmm. If you can't see those names, Sean Boltz, Bill Johnson, Heidi, Heidi Baker, uh, John Arnott, 
Randy Clark. Any of those names ring a bell? Well, if none of them do, perhaps Bill Johnson should, and I have many videos on him. Yeah, soaking, grave soaking, or whatever you want to call it. But then there was also her with T.D. Jakes. Yeah, well, T.D. Jakes has also been taken in by the Hillsong, just like all the other pastors. Hmm. So she was a host, CBN host. Notice hand gestures there. So they think that Trump will help Canada. Hmm. Why? Why on earth would another president meddle in another country's business? Is my first question. <laughs> is she is she naive? So let's look into some symbolism that I happen to notice. I'm sure you guys saw some of these, and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail to keep this short. But there's a ladder. I looked into just a little bit of you know gematria on her name cuz she it's double everything l l t t so i noticed the swirl i'm sure you guys did too there in the intro and just a few of her guests this one guest he just had his channel removed and he's also a, a truther if you want to say but then i noticed also that this symbol here. Let's just take one quick look. The vaccines are coming soon, the therapeutics, and frankly, the cure. All I know is I took something, whatever the hell it was, I felt good very quickly. I don't know what it was. Antibodies. Antibodies. I don't know. I took it. I said, I felt like Superman. You know, I said, let me at him. But let's make me feel good. And we took something that was like incredible, Regeneron. And I don't know, maybe I would have just been perfect just by doing nothing. But who the hell wants to take a chance? And I woke up the next morning and I felt like Superman. And I woke up the next morning and I felt like Superman. So that's what I thought of when I saw that logo on our computer. Just thought I'd share. Um, so who is this man? He, she let him have a voice on her channel. Why would she give a Muslim man a voice on a Christian channel? Who is this guy? Well, he ran for elections, but didn't get far. Um, he even marches for life. Sure, uh, sounds good. But a lot of people do good. They're going to be allowed to broadcast via loudspeaker their call to prayers, including this big one behind me. Now, that means when the sun sets, whether you like it or not in this neighborhood, you're going to be hearing something like this. Yeah, I don't think we could handle a whole lot of that. And surprise, surprise, this man is an advocate for this call to prayer since everything was shut down. In Canada, this is in Canada. And she had him on her show. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. There's a little bit of information. And the only thing re you really need to understand is that he's a member of the board of directors for the Center of Islamic Pluralism. Not was and, and became a Christian. No, no, no. He is. And she gave him a voice. And then when I found Charisma News did an article on her and it says interdenominational organization. Oh boy. Wow. I'll add the link. But let's go, whoops, one step further. Look at that. She had Carrie Madej on her show. Let's listen to just two little short clips, shall we? And people need to remember that spiritual connection. And they're afraid of us being together and united. That's why they're separating us. That's why they're making us wear masks. That's why they're doing the six foot distance rule. That's all of this is to divide and conquer us because together we are very powerful and we have spiritual beings. So we need to remember that. And that is our power. That is what we can do about this. Well, I just have to say that I do this from the greatest of life. I have huge faith, hope and love in my heart. It just emanates out. And it's, I, I know that I let God work through me and I'm just a vessel. And my message to everyone is don't give up hope. Do not give up faith because 
we have an up window of time, window of opportunity here to make things right, to stop something happening. All right, so a lot of people have this defeatist attitude and they should not. And they should know that this is our opportunity to, to really change what's been happening, some tragedies that, that have been happening to all of us for a long, long time. So if we are together, we educate ourselves, become critical thinkers, we stand up for each other, we start talking to each other, educating each other, and saying no to things that isolate us, the masks, the, the social distancing, the lockdowns, they are not by science, they're for political reasons. It's unbelievable, we have all the power, we really do. So lose hope and faith. I love that. And love, And most of all yes. love. <laughs> most of all love. So a lot of truth, but something's a little off here. So divide and conquer. Yes, that is exactly what they want. Together. Oh, we've heard this one before. She uses the word together here quite a bit. And we all have the power. Hmm. Really interesting. Power through unity. Ah, well... On her Facebook, she had this, and yes, the elites know that many people are awake. So is she with the Christians, or is she with the Together movement? Sure sounds like it to me that she's with the Together movement. That's my opinion. You listen over to the clips and over and over and see what you come up with. Um, but I know that my help comes from the Lord. That is where our hope comes from. It's not standing together. It is through Jesus. Well, that was my short take, a little bit on her. Something is not quite right, and I think you see it and understand it. And I'm going to continue with this because there was a short clip of Carrie and Yana, if you guys missed this. And that's where I'm going to next. It'll be later on today. So God bless. Take care. Till later. <laughs>